messages received or not received, tracked or not tracked. Chair? The Honourable Tracy Martin. Uh, thank you very much, Mr Chair. Just a very short call to answer the questions. Um, from the member, very reasonable questions. I think the, the um, question around couriers was particularly, I, I did ask actually specific questions around um, my staff with regard, because, and you know, not, not naming any particular courier company, but I think we've all experienced um, something that has left one place and has never arrived at where it is supposed to arrive. So, so quite rightly, um, just by having a department say that it was properly addressed when it left here, um, is no guarantee, obviously, that it is going to reach the other end. And there, are, and, and certainly, these um, the protocols and procedures around how this legislation will be implemented in a practical sense by departments is being developed. Um, you quite rightly point out that there are tracking um, services on um, a courier package, which would provide the proof for any department that it had it had been received by the person it should have reached. Um, I do remind the member of mail, uh, snail mail, <laughs> um, and that you know, there was a time actually in this country where uh, government departments sent out letters, um, and as the Minister for Seniors, a different hat on, I, I, I know that we still do. But um, so, and there was no guarantee either at that time that it was received. Um, New Zealand Post was um, very, very competent, but things happen. Um, so, I do believe that that will be worked through as the procedures are developed and that has been raised. It's now on the record. With regard to text messaging, Facebook, private messaging or Snapchat, um, I think it will be a long while before um, government departments start to, um, well I hope it's a long while before government departments start to Snapchat you or private message you on your Facebook page to tell you that um, if you don't make that appointment or this appointment, something something bad's going to happen to you. I think that's that's just too informal at this stage. Not saying it won't be a future, um, but too informal at this stage. And I think that was probably the area that the, those are the major areas of questioning that the member had. Um, just around that, the courier service, similar to I think what we've had with the letter mail service. Oh, certainly. So multiple means of communication. I, I agree. There are logic and some reason to, to the issues you have raised. These, this is why, you're quite right, this is why the Committee of the Whole House is so valuable, not just to the development of the legislation, but that the, the members of the department, the staff there, they pick up these conversations, they pick up these nuances that are raised by members of parliaments and very valid conversations around pieces of legislation, and they can inform practice further downstream. So I, I, I can appreciate that. If you, before you're going to send a courier, it may be that you send an email. The courier or the tracked device is a follow-up from that. Um, but I still say that there is always the rebuttal presumption has been entrenched inside the legislation. Um, there is a defence there, and it, it, logic must prevail at the end of the day. Kia ora. Uh, Jamie Lee Ross. I move that the question be now put. Um, I'd like to hear from uh, at least a couple more. Um, I call uh, Kieran McAnulty. Mr Chair, thank you very much.